one shot of me on a screen and you on a screen. Hey, Ryan. It's a sign of the times, Tiff. It sure is. Ryan J. joining us. Uh, Molly's at home today. And you've got Toto with you. She's That's so right. big now. I know. She's about seven and a half pounds. And she's doing really, really well. She's a little squirmy right now because it's the morning time. And this is normally our play time. And it's all about having a good routine with a new puppy. So she's very frustrated with me. When she, and she doesn't understand what I'm saying when, I'm, when I say, uh, Shh, I'm on live radio right now, honey. That's right, because... I don't know if all our viewers know, but you have a radio tour that you do every Friday morning about movie reviews before you join us on the Morning Blend. So, yeah, she probably has not quite gotten that routine down yet. No, she's very, very frustrated by all of it. But I, I love her to death. She's my baby. Are you my baby? Oh, and I know she's almost potty trained now. And I know it's fun watching along. So thank you for letting us see her again. Hey, I, I know that did the Emmy nominations come out? What's what's going on with all that? Yeah, I know you're all up to date on it all. Yeah, the Emmy nominations did come out. And what's really interesting is we saw a lot of streaming services get nominated this time around. And it's it's we've been having a discussion in both film and television about what's going to happen in the future. Because as theaters are now shut down, I was thinking theaters might close if Netflix had one best picture at the Oscars last year, which it didn't. But um, some theaters would start to close. But now with the pandemic and the shutdown, things are uh, really negotiating at a very different pace right now and what reopening is going to look like. But so many uh, of the streaming services were nominated. You know, a lot of us have given up our landlines for cell phones. I think a lot of people are going to be giving up cable services and the rest of it, too, and switching over because when you get all these streaming services, you get just as much or sometimes more programming. Well, that's what I always wonder. Like, will will the movies continue to stream like this, you know, after the pandemic? Is this a, a you know, we always talk about new normals. Is this something that may stay for us? Is there a conversation about that within the movie community? There really is. I mean, like one thing that happened this week that was just announced was Universal and AMC Movie Theater, which is the largest theater chain, not only in the country, but the world, announced and they broke the window, meaning of when movies would go to on-demand or home video release. Normally, there would be a lot of time between at least three months between the time when a movie was released in a theater and when it would be on demand. And now there was a deal with AMC and Universal that it's going to be just 17 days. Okay. So what does so that mean for the show? Big. You know, because we often think about watching the Emmys and seeing all the celebrities in the room and hearing the acceptance speeches. Is that going to happen it is it is going to happen it's all going to be stay at home and what's really interesting about it is you know how we make such a big deal about fashion and the red carpet i mean that's one of yeah. our favorite things so we talk about that just as much as we do talk about the snubs and the winners the mo for the emmys this year is come as you are so we might see some of the stars and nominees in their pajamas and the rest of it you know it'll be very interesting this year I would love to see that. I think it would be really cool to see people a little bit more in their own element and more natural. I mean, I think it also sets a good example for, for young people watching to see celebrities not always so perfect and if they're willing to not, you know, be so perfect. I know. And, and then, you know, but of course, I don't think that will remain. I think once we're post pandemic, things are going to go right back to the red carpet and the glamour. Yeah, and I do love the glamour too. So, you know, um, our yes. sound off for today is what are your plans for the weekend? So I wanted to ask you that same question. Do you have plans for this weekend? I'm just spending as much time as possible with this little one who, again, doesn't want to give me any time away from her. And I'm just fine with that. Oh, I love that too. 